Welcome everyone, I'm Mr. Vaughn, and this is a lesson on arcs and chords. First of all, we're going to start off talking about arcs. An arc is basically just a part of a circle. If you think of arc AB here, basically we're looking at the section of this circle that goes from endpoint A to endpoint B over there, and stops right there. Okay, now that is represented by the letters AB, the endpoints, and a little arc over the top of it. If I want to represent the measure of that arc, I put a little M in front of it, just like we do with angles. So this would be the measure of arc AB. Okay? Now that's going to be measured in degrees, and it just so happens that the measure of this arc is going to be the same as this central angle we have here. We call this a central angle. So if, for instance, O was 100 degrees, then the measure of arc AB would also be 100 degrees. So for our definition, we'll put that the measure of ang angle A, pardon me, the measure of arc AB is equal to the measure of angle O. All right. Now, the measure of this arc here, or this arc here, is what we call a minor arc. Okay? A minor arc is always going to be less than or equal to 180 degrees. And unless we, the problem tells us otherwise, we always want to assume that we're talking about the minor arc. Okay? Because you could also travel the other way around the circle to get from A to B. And that would be a lot bigger than 180 degrees. That's our major arc, greater than 180 degrees. Okay? And again, you're always talking about the minor arc unless the problem tells you otherwise. Now, a chord is defined as a segment with its endpoints on the circle. So our chord in this picture is chord AB. And a property here that helps us find lengths of chords and arcs is this right here. If we drew a radius from O perpendicular to our chord AB, then the two segments of the chord will be congruent and the two segments of our arc will be congruent. Okay? Let's take a look at how we can put all this together in a problem right here. From our drawing, we want to find the length of RS and we want to find the measure of, of arc RS. Okay. So, first thing we notice is that we have a perpendicular radius here, so we know this segment's congruent to that one and this arc is congruent to that arc. All right, so let's try to find RS first by working on this right triangle. I know the Pythagorean theorem tells me that the hypotenuse squared, that's 10, is equal to the sum of the square of the legs. So we'll have 6 squared plus, let's call this side X. So that'll be X squared. If we go ahead and simplify, we'll have 100 is equal to 36 plus x squared. Subtract 36 from both sides, we'll have 64 is equal to x squared. And take the square root of both sides, we will have 8 is equal to x. So if this is 8, then this also has to be 8. So the length of RS will be 16. Now to find the length of the arc, we can use this angle here. And we can find that angle. We know 10 is the hypotenuse, 6 is one leg of our triangle. So we can use the cosine of this angle is going to be 6 over 10, which is going to be 0.6. So using the inverse cosine of 0.6, we will get this angle in here is going to be 53.1 degrees. Okay? If this angle is 53.1, this angle will be the exact same, 53.1, and that means our arc will be double that, will be 106.2. So RS, arc RS is 106.2 degrees. And we have our solutions here. And that's going to do it for this lesson. Great job. Good luck on the rest of your homework. And you can get more geometry help by signing up for Nutshell Math.